I spent hours scouring the internet to find the cringiest videos on TikTok. And I think I actually did. The videos you are about to watch may be the worst ones to date. So this is your one warning to click away now if you don't want secondhand embarrassment. Here we go. Okay guys, first video, let's see what we have here. Daddy. I seriously contemplate making these videos sometimes so I don't have to subject myself to watching these videos. That's a solid 9 out of cringe. I don't know what I just watched. Next up. Maybe you should pull the fucking trigger. I physically can't do this, guys. People have no shame anymore. I do think it's a good thing when you don't care about what people think of you. This isn't that. I mean, this is irredeemable. There's actually no coming back from this. I actually don't know what's worse. The girl who made the original video on the toilet, or the girl who duetted it with the fake blood. That's pretty disgusting. Do I even have to watch the video? I mean, the thumbnail says it all. Open up the safe, bitches got a lot to say. To see any face, that'll put you in your place. Seven letters on the plate, fuck you when I break. I got car- Wait, was she duetting herself? Generally, I don't think it's good practice to shit on other creators, because this isn't the worst video in the world, but it's pretty cringe. A lot of the POV stuff on TikTok is extremely cringe. For context, this girl is overplaying or faking ADHD, so let's see how bad it is. There are so many people walking by. I live on a main road, so I don't know why I'm recording this outside, because everyone's just staring at me. Anyways, um, I, I forgot, I was thinking about what I was going to talk about, like, before I started recording this, because, um, this was one of those really impulsive decisions where I was just like, you know what, I'm going to start recording right now. And so then I picked up, there is a bug right there. I killed it. Um, anyway. What was he going to say? Oh, yeah. Um. Oh, yeah. I was, so I was cleaning up the table before I started recording, and I had just gotten Chipotle. The this is so overplayed. Oh, my gosh. It's not even believable. These people are such bad actors. Guy at Chipotle recognized me. Isn't that crazy? I'm not even... And that's not true. You did not get recognized at Chipotle. That doesn't actually happen to TikTokers. I like I haven't UK yet, so I have no idea how he knew who I was. Oh, yeah, he doesn't. But, um, I was cleaning up the table because, um, you know how, like, after you eat, you make a mess and, like, I was... I don't care enough. I'm sorry, guys. Woo! Furry TikTok. Let's go. I almost didn't come out here because, as you see, my fur is a mess. But this is indeed the sacred spot where the meme was created. I am Naya Okami, and on all levels except physical, I am a wolf. <laughs> Don't laugh at them. These are my peers. This is a fellow content creator. I'm laughing with him, not at him. Do people really think they're wolves? I'm not trying to beef with the furry community, but you're not a wolf. All of your DNA says that you're a homo sapien. Do furries accept that it's just a mental sort of thing? Like, it's all in their head. To be honest though, I don't really even have beef with furries because that one anime intro slaps. Wow, a lot of furry content today. My loneliness is killing me and I, I must confess I still believe Is that a real husky? When I'm not with you, I lose my mind Give me a sign. What is going on there? Is that CGI or is that the guy's dog? That can't be a costume, is it? I'll buy that right now. I haven't watched it yet, but she has an Eagles shirt on, so I automatically deduct points. Looks like they're in McDonald's. Tell them your name. Tanaya. Okay, see, and aren't you my best friend at work? Yes. So I'm not racist. <laughs> people, That's good. That's people good. think I'm really racist. Are you serious? Because, like, there was a video on here, and I said, I sang the N-word, but I didn't. <laughs> I love how the explanation is kept in the video. She could have easily cut it after the girl said that she's friends with the black girl, but they decided to keep that second part for whatever reason. I'm actually a fan of the argument that I'm not racist because I have a black friend. Now, it has to be a best friend. You can't just have a black acquaintance and act like that solves all problems. But if you have a black spouse, for example... Chances are you're not racist, but I'd be willing to bet that Sammy Smiles might have a little bit of racist blood in her. A good rule of thumb is that if you have to defend yourself against being racist, you're probably racist. Because if you weren't racist, you wouldn't even have to defend yourself because it's such a bizarre claim to even call somebody that. And then you get your black friend in the video just to prove that you're not racist. Sammy Smiles, 
Let's just call you racially insensitive. It looks like this video shows people reacting to an audio of somebody shouting at them. This will be fun. Knew where the f I have been or what the f has happened to me? You would faint if you felt the same as I do or seen what was left behind. If you knew where the f I have been or what the f has happened to me, you would faint if you felt this. If you knew where the f I have been or what the f has happened to me, you would. <laughs> now, hold on a second. These people are claiming to have PTSD against an audio of somebody yelling. All three of these people deserve Oscars for these performances. Every single one of these people should be EGOT recipients for their ability to sell that so hard. I'm thoroughly impressed. That's a $20 million dramatic role in Hollywood that they're fitting right there. I'm actually going to give this one an 8 out of cringe. Okay, let's give this a fair shake, see what she has for us. Seamless transition right there. For those of you who are unaware of that song, when that first beat drops, the transition is supposed to happen. So she was about three seconds, three seconds too late, which is a lot of time. This is a nine second video, so she was 33% late. That's like showing up to a nine to five job at noon. In the real world, you'd get fired for that. In Sam's world, she gets a nine out of cringe. The only reason she doesn't get a 10 out of 10 is because her name is pretty cool. Bobby Matthews sounds like a don't know what this is going to be, but I'm excited. If he didn't do the kissing thing, he would have been fine in my books. Let my man Shramek Istvan duet girls. But the kissing thing is a bit weird. The moment you put the kissing thing out, your intentions are clear. You have to be a little more sly when you do these sorts of things. Take it from somebody with a lot of experience. I say just cut out the lip thing and you're good. Still creepy, but you're good. I actually used this girl to clickbait my last TikTok cringe video, so I feel like it's only right to pay it to you guys that we watch this video now. now she's like, why are you on a leash? What do her parents think of this? I'm sorry we had to experience that together. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. Hold up. One minute. If it's chopper. Hold up, 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 up. If it's chopper. Hold up. One minute. It's a way to you. I think I missed the chapter where the meta evolved to the point where baby voices were considered attractive. That's almost borderline pandering to pedophiles, too. When will these people learn, man? Okay, let's see what this Chris lad has for us. Hello. Hello. I'm a demon. Really? <laughs> I'm a demon now. <laughs> I think that's funny. I'm debating including that in this video because I don't think that's actually cringe. That is some good humor. Okay, let's do one more. All right, guys, let's see what Oh, no, here. wait a second. Eiffel Tower, we know we're in Okay, Paris. that's not fair. Why am I in this compilation? I think I know what this bridge is. It looks pretty It's not familiar. scripted. I don't know where I know it from. I feel like I've seen it in a movie. Wait, 